Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 21 of Greedfall. Can I help you with something? Ask about, uh, we ask him about his personal role. Whatever is a doctor of the bridge alliance. Oh, we did. The barracks of the new serene coin guard. I was posted here from the uni agreement. The guard requested de the university. That the yeah, we've done this. We have the these requests. Anything else? So he has a contract with a guard. Okay, ask about the death of Rainer. Concerning the matter of recruit Rainer. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. Uh, what date the boy arrived? When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Ask about details. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seem to share. Rainer was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn. And they brought him to me. What? How can if he's drowned, how can he walk all the way to the bay? Uh... How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Uh, ask to see the body. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain. I cannot allow that. Uh, oh... Oh, here's our charisma goes in. Insist. I have, as of yet, to present myself. I'm Lady de Sade, Legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you and shown more respect. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. Whoa. So that was a charisma check. Good thing we invested in charisma. Okay, what is this? Uh, what? How come we cannot get to it? Okay, uh... Oh, uh, what? Science level 2. Do we have science level 2? Hold on, uh, what is our science? I thought we... Or did we not invest in it? No, we did not invest in it because we invested in charisma. Youch! We it, we need to be at level 21 to get science level 2. Uh, examine. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my reign. I should have left him with his family where he was. We'll need to examine the body to learn more. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor, but this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. Bit suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Oh, uh, what's that? Pick up? Preliminary autopsy results. The subject is a young man under the age of 20. Under the age. He has several hematomas on the entirety of the body surface. 
some more recent than others. Forearm bones are broken, lesions on the hands, several broken ribs, skull is sunken, likely to be the cause of death. So he was beaten to death. Uh, find evidence for this. Confront the doctor with this. Okay. We gotta kill this doctor, huh? Excuse me, doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. Oh. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. What an idiot. I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess their rank by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. My condolences, Kurt. I'm truly sorry. I know the pain of losing a crew member. Thank you, Vasco. Okay, uh, hmm. Oh, the other thing I discovered was that I, uh, when we are in this uh, area, so we either can use uh, our ring or we can use this weapon. And so when we are in a fighting mode, like uh, press square, pressing, I think, the right shoulder button changes us into a melee fighter. So now we can have that or that or back to that one so we better put I should put a better weapon on her so right now that weapon is very long uh, overdue I mean 145 my that is <laughs> that is laughable okay uh, so what are we supposed to do next uh, ask the intendant of his advice, huh? Who is the intendant? Oh, uh, where do we come? Oh, up, up here, maybe? Here. Oh, the quartermaster. Hello. <coughs> no, sorry. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rainer didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th, before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments, and it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. 
Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? Okay, uh, leave. Yeah. Thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. Okay, we yeah. Also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Wow, this is very bad. This is, this is a very, it stinks to high heavens. There is murder involved and, okay, uh, so let's go to the coin tavern. Hello, Your Excellency. Is it this way? I <laughs> have bad direction. Coin tavern? Coin barracks? Uh, these guys, remember we had to bribe these guys over here? Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lady. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tier 3D. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lady. Excellency. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, my lady. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? Uh, ask him. You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago, but at the beginning we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene, but I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the guard, to come here, to leave the continent. You know what I mean? I do. Anything else? Uh, okay, question me not Rainier. Oh. Do you know a recruit going by the name of Rainer? Rainer? I... It's just... Excellency, please. Uh oh He's terrified now that he knows who we are. So long as he's in that state, he'll say nothing of worth. You should bring him a bottle to calm his nerves. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Let's talk to the other guys. Huh? Excellency, I saw you in the palace, if I'm not mistaken. Your Excellency has a good eye and memory. I am one of the officers in charge of the protection of your cousin's counselors. How can I help you? You said you were responsible for the protection of my cousin's counselors. That's right, Your Excellency. It's my assignment. When I'm not on leave, that is. And what sort of work do you carry out exactly? Essentially to assure that every one of those prestigious persons is accompanied by a guard. But I also have to follow and verify their personnel. Valets, chambermaids, secretaries. And is everything in order? One of our counselors is an old professor of mine. You know how it is. All lizards should be expected, Excellency. Lord de Cassilion is in good hands, rest assured. Anything else? We are investigating the death of a young recruit. A certain Rainer. I've never heard the name before. He's not one of my men. I know. But you might at least have heard someone mention him in passing. Did he die at the palace? No. We have no idea where it happened, only where the body was found. So? I'm, I'm sorry. That doesn't ring any bells. None at all. Uh, insist, let Kurt... I recruited the lad myself, Lieutenant. And just a while ago, I saw his body broken and bruised in the morgue. Someone has been trying to cover this up. To lead us down false trails at every turn. But Rayner deserves justice. I know you have to understand that. I hear you. The murder of one of our own should not go unpunished. But alas, I don't know how I can help you. This is the first I've heard about it. 
Wow. How about this guy? What can I pull for you? Ask about what? Uh, uh, your. Oh, spent what goes on in the basement? No, no, no. That's none of our business. Uh. I'm looking for information concerning a young recruit going by the name of Rayner. Sorry, there's nothing but soldiers here, with a few sailors. Well, one recruit or another, it's half a dozen of one, six of the other to me. You should just try talking to them yourself. You've got yourself quite a selection. Okay, uh, I guess we'll have to buy the bottle, right? What can I pour for you? Uh, yeah, jeez, nine gold. Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful, she's got a strong bite. Oh, that's what we want. Offer the bottle to this guy. At your service, milady. Excellency. Huh? Here. You seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes. But this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. <laughs> now, why don't you tell us what you know about Rayner? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and uh, followed orders. And then, poof. Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink too. Where can we find your Lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Jeez. Let's talk about... This whole place is pretty corrupted. <laughs> <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. Wow, jeez. What am I doing? Okay, uh... Checking to see if there are any items that we can actually loot. Like this one? Yes. Hoof fungus. Okay, let's go back uh, to the uh, barracks. So I love the way this game allows us to be anything we want to be simply based on the kind of things we invest in meaning hold on where is he okay hello officer excellency can i do something for you could you tell me which company you serve? The Eleventh, Excellency. Anything else? Could you tell me which company you serve? The Eleventh, Excellency. Oh. Anything else? What's your assignment? The Eleventh is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits. And the patrol duty roster. Anything else? So the the coin barracks, the coin guard, they're all mercenaries. Apparently, it's called coin barracks. Oh. We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rayner. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company, 
And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say? Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes. Of course. But you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. We'll be back. Anything else? Wait until nightfall to talk to him. Uh, insist concerning... Okay, leave. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Your crew has the scurvy, Kurt. And they're dying from fear. I must agree, sailor. And I don't like it one bit. You know what? We should go... Um... Man. So the coin guard is like a yeah, hired mercenary for I think all three of them all I mean all three uh, the Telomeres the uh, Al-Assad they all are hire they all hire the same mercenary group to do the security for them I think what's this guy <coughs> merchants on New Serene uh, let us talk to that guy Looking for lootable stuff. The best forge in tier for a day. Lights, armor, locks, cast all pieces. Can you help me? Oh, that's another guy we didn't talk to. Let's talk to this guy. He needs apparently he needs help. Okay, but no, before that. What is this guy? What does you what do you want? Burtir to mad on all menawi. Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me. My chief sent me to trade some items with your village. But there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. The ironbacks. The warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adlo radar on all Minawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Wow. <laughs> Wait, where is the merchant? Okay, let's go all the way down. You know, I am more familiar with San Mateo's town than our own town because uh, I've been raiding it uh, regularly. Uh, or, yeah, this is the town square where we can rest till evening, right? He says, wait till night. But what I want to do is. <coughs> Talk to the merchant, right? Is it this way? Come closer, good people. Oh, Copper District. Well, this is a mercantile town, so they are Copper, Silver District. Oh, okay, Guard District.
Where is that traitor? We just passed him. Oh, the guy that was very loud. Oh, this guy over here. Are your boots all through? <laughs> well, it's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you? Uh, extortion problems the merchants have had. Well, huh? Uh, let's sell first. Uh, no. Uh, old flint. No, we want that. Uh, let's hold on to that. Uh, felt vestments. Um, uh, sailor's coat. Uh, thick black mixed gloves. Okay, let's see what he has for sale. Wow, these are really nothing. Uh, Nobles double hammer pistol. Oh, that's not bad actually. Uh, a small shotgun with brass barrel. Wow, this is more powerful than ours. Uh, it does more damage and it has two shots. Wow, not bad actually. Uh, small shotgun with brass barrel. Small elegant blunderbuss. No, we don't need those. Ancient blunderbuss, we already have that. Aristocrats flintlock rifle. I think that's what we have. No, no, this is new. Oh. Guards Archibus. Black and pepper and uh, uh black and pepper box. This has six shots. Explorers bundle uh, how come their swords are pretty sad oh no, not really. Naval officer's saver? Wow. Mm. Claymore. Okay. Oh, broadsword of judgment. Agility of five? I thought broadswords or oh, two-handed swords are for the... I mean, are for the... What do you call this? The, uh, the melee fighters like uh, Kurt. Okay, anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm getting enamored with all these new items. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.